Hi, this is Arash and welcome to Epoxy channel. In this channel, we're going to talk about the epoxies from the theoretical aspects to the most practical ones. So if this is the first video that you're watching or if you're interested in uh, epoxies, please like and subscribe to our channel for more videos. Today, I'm going to present the overview of epoxies. What is an epoxy? Epoxides are a class of reactive uh, pre-polymers and polymers that contain more than one epoxide group. And what is an epoxide group? An oxygen atom that has been joined by a single bond to two adjacent carbon atoms, thus forming a three-membered epoxide ring. The IOPAC name for uh, an epoxide group is oxyrane. A compound containing the epoxide functional group can be called an epoxy, epoxide, oxyrane, and etoxylan. Simple epoxides are often uh, referred to as oxides. I have to note that some resins that do not contain any epoxy groups may be called epoxies too. These resins are uh, polyether polyols which are mainly synthesized from epichlorohydrin and bisphenol A, and which have no detectable epoxy groups in their molecule, but they are produced from epoxy groups. That's why they are referred to as epoxies as well. This class of resins is known as phenoxy resins also. Epoxy resins may be reacted, cross-linked, either with themselves through catalytic homopolymerization or with a wide range of co-reactants, including polyfunctional amines, acids and acid anhydrides, phenols, alcohols, and thiols. These co-reactants are often referred to as hardeners or curatives, and the cross-linking reaction is commonly referred to as curing. Now let's talk about the history of the invention of epoxy resins. The journey of epoxy resins had been started with the discovery or synthesis of epichlorohydrin in 1854 by Berthollet. The chemical structure of epichlorohydrin or ECH has been presented here for your reference. The epichlorohydrin was prepared by making glycerol react with phosphorus 3 chloride. Later in 1891, the anion synthesized a compound called bisphenol A or BPA by the condensation of acetone with two equivalents of phenol. This reaction requires a strong acid, for example HCl, to be used as a catalyst. However, this BPA was not pure. In 1905, zinc synthesized pure bisphenol A, BPA, from acetone and phenol. And four years later, in 1909, Prilejar converted different olefins into epoxides by reaction with peroxybenzoic acid. This chemical reaction has been presented here. The first pattern was published in the same year by Horn for a protein-based coating formulation, which was obtained by mixing epichlorohydrin and proteins. In 1934, a patent claim for the reaction between bisphenol A and epichlorohydrin to yield epoxy resins. The resins were cured with ethylene diamine. Condensation of epoxy with amines was first reported and patented by Paul Schellack of Germany in the same year. In 1943, Dr. Pierre Castan in Switzerland claimed the discovery of bisphenol A-based epoxy resins. 
Kastan work was licensed by SIBA of Switzerland, which went on to become one of the three major epoxy resins producers worldwide. SIBA's epoxy business was a spawn-off as Wentico, which was subsequently sold and became the advanced material business unit of Huntsman's Corporation of the United States. In 1946, Sylvain Green Lee worked for Devoe Reynolds Company, patented resin dry from bisphenol A and epichlorohydrin. Devoe and Reynolds, which was active in the early years of the epoxy resin industry, was sold to Shell Chemical. The division involved in this work was eventually sold and via a series of other uh, cooperative transactions, it is now a part of Hexion INC. Industrial production of bisphenol A, BPA, from acetone and phenyl started after 1945. In this schematic, you can see this reaction where phenols in acetone reacts and BPA is synthesized. In the 1950s, BPA was also used to produce polycarbonates and thus increased the global production of BPA. Finally, in the 1960s, the range of epoxy resins entered the market. For example, Dow Chemical offered epoxidized phenol Novalak resins. Shell introduced multiply epoxidized tetrafunctional phenols. And Union Carbide entered the market with multiply functionalized epoxies in the form of three glycidized P amino phenols. Now let's look at the chemistry of BPA epoxy resins. The most common epoxy resins are based on the reaction of epichlorohydrin with bisphenol A. This reaction transforms the basic building blocks into a different chemical substance called bisphenol A diglycidyl ether. A low molecular resin commonly known as BADGE or DGEBA. Bisphenol A diglycidyl ether or diglycidyl ether bisphenol A. In this schematic, you can see the reaction of BPA and ECH. Bisphenol A diglycidyl ether is further reacted with BPA and a bisphenol A diglycidyl ether with a high molar mass is synthesized. Here you can see the reaction between BPA diglycidyl ether and BPA in the formation of a higher molecular mass resin. Let's talk about the major producers of epoxy resins. Hexion INC is a chemical company based in Ohio, USA, founded in 1899. It produces thermoset resins and related technologies and specialty products. Ole Incorporation is an American manufacturer of chemicals based in New York, USA, and founded in 1892. Ole Epoxy is the division that produces epoxy. Huntsman Corporation is an American multinational manufacturer and, and uh, marketer of chemical products. Based in Texas, USA, it has been founded in 1970 and Huntsman manufactures products for, consum uh, for, for customers like BMW and General Electric. DuPont is an American multinational chemical uh, company first formed in 1980. O2, uh, which merged with Dow Chemical to form DuPont. Nanya Plastic Corporation was founded in 1958 in Taiwan. The four main product categories of the company are plastics, processing, plastic materials, electronic materials, and polyester products. Cook the chemical manufactures and sells organic chemicals. The company manufactures and sells epoxy resins. 
hydrosulfuric acid and other uh, products. It is based in South Korea and was founded in 1972. <laughs> In 1964, uh, Changchun Petrochemical Co. Uh, was founded as a second core uh, company within Changchun Group. It is based in Taiwan. Uh, China Petroleum and Chemical Corporation is a Chinese oil and gas enterprise based in Beijing, China. Aditya Birla Group is an Indian epoxy manufacturer which has been established in 1857 in India. BASF SA is a European uh, multinational company and the largest chemical producer in the world. It is based in Germany and founded in 1865. Uh, Atel LTD is an integrated chemical company founded in India in 1947. Uh, Sika AG is a Swiss a multinational uh, specialty chemical company that supplies to the building sectors and motor vehicle industry. Headquarter in Switzerland. It has been established in 1910. Application of epoxy resins are our saddle. Epoxy resins are used in the manufacture of adhesives, plastics, paints, coatings, primers, and sealers, flooring, and other products. And materials that are mm, that are used in several applications, for example, in industrial construction automotive, aerospace, electronics, and others. For industrial applications, we can use it uh, for structural bonding. In construction, it can be used uh, for concrete repair and encore bolt fixtures. In the automotive and aerospace industries, it can be used for structural bonding, composite bonding, repairing, or for adhesion. In electronics, they can be used as electric insulators in internal circuits, transistors, printed circuit boards, LEDs, solar panels, and many other devices. Finally, epoxies are commonly used for sport tools or consumer applications. Epoxies have several advantages over other uh, resins uh, for adhesives and coatings. Epoxies provide exceptional strain after curing. They have minimal shrinkage and also adhere to a variety of substrate, for example, metals, glass, etc. They can be used as electric uh, insulators. Moreover, they are solvent and chemical resistant. Cost effectiveness, low toxicity, and the presence of no volatile organic compounds, VOCs, are their other merits. On the other side, epoxies are brittle in nature and their toughness is comparably low. Often epoxy process a long curing time. They rather have a messy application and are slippery when wet. Epoxies are also a potential harm to health. Strong fumes can cause respiratory illnesses for the workers. And in some cases, they impose higher costs compared to other systems. Thanks for your attention. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, please share your thoughts, comments or questions uh, and I will see you soon.